Kalo Falava, it was a real privilege and honour to lead that uh, delegation to Samoan, interacting with our counterparts from the Samoan Parliament and also the people of Samoa. From the minutes we landed, it was quite exciting because it was a wonderful opportunity. I have very fond memories in relationship with my homeland. You learn a lot uh, from that engagement around how we as parliamentarians could engage more effectively with the Pacifica community here in Aotearoa, but also keeping those relationships strong in the Pacific. The first thing was going through the Ava ceremony at the Parliament. I'm really proud of the number of languages that were spoken during that, that um, each of the members of the delegation spoke in their mother tongue from Cook Island Māori, Māori, uh, Samoan and English. Meeting with the Samoan Parliament and in particular the chairs and deputy chairs of their committees, it was important to provide opportunities to share our experiences and to take those opportunities to learn from those. We got to have lunch with the Prime Minister in an informal setting and to sort of canvas different issues which are of importance across the region, you now around climate change, labour mobility, all of these different things. It was really, really invaluable. I was so happy to meet the leaders of Samoa, Prime Minister Afia Me Naomi Mata Afa, a very revered woman in her own right, who has a huge legacy. And to be able to be quite comfortable in that space, uh, because I speak the language. We went to see a vanilla farm. They did everything from growing the product, processing it. I learned so much about the innovations that that company had made. We visited a resort that was severely impacted by the tsunami. We heard about how New Zealand had helped that particular area uh, and what the funds had been used to do to get them back on track and to get the tourism going again. The relationship of Samoa and New Zealand is something that has carried on for more than a century. And so to be part of uh, the delegation, I felt very special. The importance of that relationship between um, Aotearoa and Samoa as well, so important to actually make those connections with people on the ground doing the mahi. The Treaty of Friendship was spoken about quite often in recognition that neither New Zealand or Samoa have such a treaty with anyone else. We succeed as a country because we can trade in both products and services uh, to the rest of the world and that is underpinned by relationships and when you get over there as parliamentarians that's what counts, that's relationships. We should keep doing it. Even though we were members of parliament from different political parties we were able to set that aside uh, for the purposes of the delegation to come together to show that we were a New Zealand parliament that was united and the conversations that we had with uh, others while we were in Samoa is an important strong part of any delegation for the New Zealand Parliament. Hey.